Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to save you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. Doing something embarrassing feels bad, but do you know what feels worse? Being accused of doing something embarrassing that you didn't even do. This is the story of the time this happened to me. I had just spent a whole hour and a half inside a freezing cold classroom taking the most stressful math test of my young life. When the lunch bell finally rang, I practically sprinted outside. After the test, I was so excited to move around and stretch my legs that I stood up rather than sit down to eat my lunch, which tasted extra delicious. My friend Becky started doing an impression of our history teacher. She nailed everything, from the way he moved his arms when he thought something was important to the way he paced back and forth when he talked about the War of 1812. I was laughing so hard, I had to be careful to make sure nothing came out my nose. Then came Becky's grand finale. She reached down and pretended to be struggling with a projector. She even muttered, darn doohickey, like Mr. Matthews always did. I couldn't keep it together anymore. It was too funny. I felt the weight of my body start to collapse. I was laughing so hard I couldn't even stand up anymore. I was going down. I looked behind me and aimed for the bench, but I didn't feel the bench. Uh-oh, I had totally missed it. I panicked. I instinctively reached up and grabbed the lunch table to slow my fall to the ground. But unfortunately, table wasn't as sturdy as I'd anticipated. It was one of those moments where it feels like time is moving in slow motion. I watched the table tilt. Then I watched my whole lunch and open water bottle slide off of it, heading right towards me. Then I hit the ground. Time sped up again. Suddenly, my lunch was in my lap. And then splash. I felt something cold. I looked down. My open water bottle had spilled all over my pants, leaving a big and unfortunately placed stain. It totally looked like I... Sarah peed her pants, Becky exclaimed. Oh no, no I didn't. How could they think that? I loudly defended myself. I didn't pee my pants. Becky pointed out that that is something that someone who just peed in their pants would say. All my friends laughed. Now I was getting mad. I raised my voice and accused them all of being traitors and bad friends and also stinky. But that just made them more sure I'd just peed in my pants. And now all my yelling was starting to cause kids from the other tables to look over. I was so mad I was about to scream all the embarrassing stuff my friends had ever done for the whole school to hear. Did my friends all think they were perfect? Had they forgotten all of their own super embarrassing moments? Then I had an idea. I sat down at the table. I calmly reminded them about the time that Becky called our English teacher mom and when Ashley tripped and fell at the winter dance and the time Katie ate bad tacos and got sick on our class field trip. We had all seen each other do embarrassing stuff and we were all still friends. Come on, did they really think I wouldn't tell them if I had just peed in my pants? They were touched I trusted them enough to tell them if I had really peed. And they finally accepted that, at least this time, my big embarrassing moment was really just a badly placed water stain. Sometimes when you're accused of doing something embarrassing that you didn't do, the best defense is to stay calm and be honest rather than totally freak out. The more you yell, the more it looks like you peed in your pants.